Right, my friends, it's me again, it's Jake, and I reckon it's time for another drink. Welcome back to this reaction series. Welcome back to Rugby Player Reacts. I got up to number 30 this morning. Then I went to the gym, I trained some arms and some shoulders. I came home and I thought, you know what? You know what, I'm actually feeling too good right now not to sit down and actually do some more of these. Let's try and bang these out before Christmas. That's the goal and that is what I will do. With all that being said, if you're following along at home, the date is Wednesday the 23rd of December. It's 2.58 p.m., 2.58, almost 3 p.m. And we've got 22 more players to watch. Today's video is Tyreek Hill. I am repping exactly the right number, exactly the right name, and exactly the right team for once. You know, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, I enjoy it. And I hope you guys do too. This is Tyreek Hill. This is my reaction to Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is one of my favorite wide receivers. When I looked up Tyreek Hill back in the day for my first deep dive of a reaction, I found out he was a 10 second hundred, you know, track star. And I looked at his 40, his 60, his 100, his 200, and his 400. And um, I was absolutely blown away. And I thought, you know what, if this guy is playing in the NFL, you know, as far as his releases, as far as his agility, it's gonna be next, absolute next level, absolute next level. Especially for the fact that he's about five foot 10. So with all those factors combined, let's get into it. Tyreek Hill caught him. You see him, he gonna try to bash me on TV. I'm looking at the camera like, damn T, he's gonna hop on me like that. <laughs> hey, be really slow, bro. What'd he say? I didn't catch that. Solid. Do we have time to run walls? Do we have time to run walls? Good question, Pat. It's third and fifteen. One that will go down in history with other famous queries. Wherefore art thou Romeo? And who framed Roger Rabbit? Catches the ball at the 22 in San Francisco. Damn! But the beauty of Wasp is how it warps time. Tyree Kill's speed threatens parts of the field faster than anyone else in the league. He covered those first 20 yards as rapid as you'll ever, ever see. Let's watch that again. Look at this. Wasp. Is how it works. No wonder George Kittle's looking at it like that, honestly. That was my reaction too. Look at this. He's off. He didn't even get the right start. He didn't even get the perfect start, to be honest. But he's off from the 35 to the 40. Oh my, oh my god. That's 20 yards just like that. 25, 30, 35, 40. And catches the ball in open space. It's a problem for corners. Oh mate, oh mate, you, 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 you combine that speed with, you know, having practiced these stutter steps, these jukes, these spins over and over and over and over and over again. If you are a cornerback standing in front of this guy on an island, good luck. Easy. And he uses it. He uses every single bit of that speed. And it's fucking impressive. Football speed is just crazy. <laughs> you gotta go out with a stale screen, you don't know. Just blazing. I mean, he's a guy that you just have to worry about. <laughs> and I'm sure some DBs lost sleep. <laughs> Before we continue, I am gonna cement this in my brain once and for all. Okay, he's 5'10", I know that much, he's, he's about 82 kg, or 84, 5'10", 84 kg, Kansas City Chiefs, he's a Super Bowl champion, he's a five time pro bowler, but I do just want to get his 40 yard dash, okay 429, and it wasn't from the NFL draft, sorry it wasn't from the, uh, the NFL combine, it was from the West Alabama Pro Day, 429 he got clocked at. But he also got measured at five foot eight and one eighth of an inch. Either he's grown or they're full of shit and he's actually shorter than everyone thinks. He got nine, he got, sorry, he got 40 inch, 40 and a half inches on the vertical jump. Four, two, nine on the 40 yard dash. As far as speed goes, you won't find much faster. Hitting Tyreek Hill's stride, it's always undefeated. 
you can never really overthrow him. He's been the toughest yeah. receiver he faced this Yeah, he's going to get there. Uh, you know what? I think you know what? There's one guy in the league that you'd, you'd be comfortable throwing the ball maybe a couple of feet too far out in front just to beat that defender. And that person is Tyreek Hill. He's gotten faster this year. I'll say Tyreek Hill's the best. Tyreek Hill burning the Broncos a quarter pattern to the near side. And that's a hell of a route, baby. He got me on a shallow uh, wheel that you'll never see. He's probably the only one that can run it. Receiver Tyreek Hill, and you're not going to catch him. Oh. That's an interesting concept. Hill <laughs> ran a really shallow drag route and it turned up the east sideline. Nobody ever does that. And the cheetah just prances into the end zone and gives him the deuces. People just think he's all speed, but he's not. He doesn't need him. He's one of the top five wide receivers in this league. Let's go, what? Let's go, what? Let's go, what? Look at that fucking crowd. He's here. He's getting to seem like he's good. Oh my god, and look at it. He just scored. I, didn't, I couldn't actually follow the ball. Let's follow that ball. Where's that ball? He's one of the top five wide receivers. Let's go. Bro, if he, if, come on man, if you're full of beers and you're watching this game and you see Tyreek Hill, your favourite player, come out like that, you're going to get up. Let's go, what? Let's go, what? Where's Mahomes? Mahomes is there, he's in the pocket, he chucks it. Tyreek Hill catches it for the touchdown and the whole crowd goes wild. Let's go, what? Let's go, what? He's here. Right, I'm going to... Press play, and you're going to see this crowd go from seated to standing instantly. Look at that, bro. He cannot go on me! He cannot go on me! No, he can't. He can't go on me! That is so fast. I would like to just feel that just one time. Just feel that speed. Like, so light and so fast. It's what dreams are made of, mate. Thinking we could feel that speed, thinking we could actually run that fast, yeah. Unfortunately. Dreams are free, but we always have to wake up eventually. No, he can make you miss. He Here he is. Definitely got better over the years. Got me a jump back special. That's a team he hit me with. Barry Sanders. To review a little thing, get that ball from him like that. A lot of people underestimate how high he can jump. Show you time to play. Yeah, they do. But at the end of the day, he jumps over 40 inches, guys. 40 inches. We capable of. He's a dog, man. A lot of respect to him. Touchdown! When he puts that on film now, okay, this dude could run past me like Randy and then and moss me like Randy also. This year was a little balanced, but I really based my game on speed. Delvin Cook. I did a bit of a deep dive on him not too long ago. This is going to be interesting. I just want to make a, a quick comment about Tyreek Hill. When they say he can run past you like Moss did, but he can also jump over you like Moss did. You know, how bad would you feel being a cornerback who's probably a good two, three inches taller than Tyreek Hill, if not four, but get absolutely mossed by this guy? You think you've taken away his biggest attribute, which is his speed. If you as a cornerback can, can get in a position where you can actually jump up, try and get that ball at the same time as Tyreek Hill, but he has that 40 and a half inch vertical and, and literally towers over you, even though he's five foot ten, I mean, that's got to be demoralizing to a certain extent. And I'm sure he's done that time and time and time again over cornerbacks and safeties and, and defensive players. And that is the reason why he's number 22 on the list. But a man that I've heard a lot about recently is Delvin Cook. When I think of Delvin Cook, I don't really recognize him, although I do recognize him a bit more than I used to. But what I really think about is the purple. It's the purple of the Vikings. He plays for the Vikings. He's number 33. So is the Prez, Demar Adams. If I see 33, it's either Delvin Cook or Jamal Adams. It's either the purple or the green. This time we're, we're looking at the purple. Is he the highest rated running back of the year? He may be. We're about to find out, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It's the 23rd of December. It's Christmas in two days. You'll see this video in January. And I want to say, have a happy new year. Peace out, guys. You're absolute legends.